I hope you're doing well today and that the Spirit of God is nudging you to engage the mind of God. Our readings for this Sunday are from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 31, uh, Micah chapter 6, first eight verses, and Matthew chapter 5 and uh, chapter 5 and the first 12 verses. So um, in Matthew, everybody knows that passage. It's about um, the blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, and so on and so forth. So uh, everyone knows that passage. Uh, Micah, we know the last verse really well, uh, for it says, He has told you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. And then the uh, passage from 1 Corinthians is like my favorite and I'll read parts of it. Uh, it begins with the verse that we had for last week. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not to reduce to nothing, things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, in order that as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. So, what is the question that I want to pursue this Sunday? Well, here's the thing. The whole thing about blessed are you, and it talks about blessed are you who are meek and, and poor and so on and so forth. And in this letter, it talks about how the people who uh, are not of noble birth or are not of, you know, they don't hold positions or they're not considered wise and so on and so they are the ones who were called to carry forward this message. So what is it about uh, being meek and uh, not meeting up to worldly standards that is so powerful in the mind of God? So that's my question. What, what makes that so uniquely valuable to God? That's the question I'll be exploring. I hope to see you um, in person this coming Sunday at either 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Or you can uh, also uh, watch the sermon live um, on, on Sunday at 10 a.m. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm.